Concept three, two-step and multi-step inequalities. Again, these are just like equations, only with inequality signs. And the big thing to remember, that if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality sign, okay? You must remember to do that, otherwise your answer will be incorrect. Okay, so let's get started. Number one, I wanna get F by itself, so I'm going to subtract 160. Okay, so I have 4F is less than or equal to 340. And then I'm gonna divide by four. F, this is a positive number, so I don't need to flip. I just keep it the same. And I get 85. F is less than or equal to 85. So I'm gonna put 85, a closed circle, and going to the left. And that's it. Okay, number two. Seven minus two T is less than or equal to 21. Since seven is positive, I need to subtract it because seven minus seven is zero. Okay, so I have negative two T less than or equal to 14. Okay, then I'm gonna divide by negative two. T, I divided by a negative number, so I have to flip the sign around to the opposite direction. And 14 divided by negative two is negative seven. So I'm gonna put a negative seven Anywhere on there, doesn't really matter where. Closed circle, going to the right. And that's it. Okay, number three. I'm gonna subtract six. So I get three X less than or equal to negative 18. Divide by three. So I get negative six. Okay. I, my answer is negative, okay? My solution over here is negative, but I did not divide by a negative number, so I do not flip the sign. Don't get confused by having a negative number on this side and dividing by a negative, okay? Those are two different things. Don't get confused by that, okay? And so when I graph it, I want the variable on the left, so I'm gonna rewrite it. So I'm gonna have negative six, a closed circle, going to the left. All right, number four, we have to do a little bit of combining like terms. So negative four plus a negative eight. Adding a negative is just like subtracting a positive. So negative four minus eight is negative 12. And all of these stay the same. I'm gonna add two. Get negative 10 divided by negative five. So on this side I have C. I divided by a negative, so I have to flip the sign. Negative 10 divided by negative 5 is 2. Remember, I'm going to rewrite it with the variable on the left. So C is less than or equal to 2. Here's 2. Close circle. Going to the left. All right. Two more and then a word problem. Okay. So number 5, we have to distribute. So negative three times three is negative nine. Negative three times negative x is a positive three x. Four squared is 16. Okay, now we can start solving. So plus nine, plus nine. Okay, so three x less than 25. Divide by three, divide by three. X is less than 25 over three, or if you use your calculator, you'll find out it's 8.34. So I'm just gonna put 8.34, open circle because it's not or equal to, going to the left. And that's it. Okay. Number six has some fractions in it, but that's okay. We like fractions. So I'm gonna subtract one half, subtract one half. So I get four fifths X greater than Remember when I subtract fractions, they have to have the same denominator, okay? So what that's gonna look like is I'm gonna go two times three, which is six. Two times five is 10. Five times one is five. Five times two is 10, okay? So then I just subtract across. Six minus five is one tenth. That's what's left on this side. 
Then to get rid of this guy, I multiply by the reciprocal. Gone. X is greater than 1 times 5 is 5. 10 times 4 is 40. I can simplify that. 5 does go into 40. It goes into it 8 times. So 1 8th is what I have there. So I'm just going to put 1 8th, open circle, going to the right. And that's it.